I'm Kina Arbuthnot. I'm the special advisor to the president on COVID response. I've worked closely with the president and the executive leadership team in trying to make sure that we put the uh, policies and procedures together to help keep the campus safe during this pandemic. They were chosen based on their area of expertise, uh, whether it was wastewater testing and surveillance, epidemiology, virology, et cetera, um, based on the research that they've been doing over the, over the years. I'm Dr. Nelson Perret. I'm the medical director of the LSU Student Health Center for the past nine years. Masking is one of the ways to mitigate the virus. Uh, and particularly with this Delta variant right now that's so infectious, masks are even more important now. Uh, they protect me from getting uh, the virus. They protect me from spreading the virus. It uh, sometimes is rather a nuisance, but it's, it's still easy to do. The mask needs to be over your nose and your mouth. It needs to fit snugly on the sides of your face. And you need to avoid touching your mask. And when you take your mask off, you should take it off from the sides and you should wash your hands. My name is Rebecca Christofferson. I'm faculty at the LSU Vet School, but I kind of have an interesting history in that I've been an undergraduate student, a graduate student, a staff member, and now faculty all at LSU since uh, last century. We'll just leave it at that. I study the transmission of emerging viruses. People who are vaccinated, who are getting Delta, they may get sick, they may feel really bad, but they're not going to the hospital and they're not dying. When Delta came through, we started seeing more of these breakthrough infections, which is people who were vaccinated were getting infected. When the vaccine companies started um, investing in vaccines, the goal at that point was we need to stop this thing from causing severe disease and hospitalization and death. That was the goal. Um, and so that was the primary endpoint that the vaccine trials were designed against. So when you see that they're 96, 95, uh, whatever percent effective, that's the efficacy that they're talking about. It's preventing severe disease and it's preventing hospitalization. Up till now with Delta, that's still holding. I was born and raised in Louisiana. My whole family's here because even if they move away, they always come back. That's how we are, we're boomerangs. Um, and when I approach how we approach um, recommending things, I do it from the perspective of if this was my kid, if this was my brother, if this was my cousin, what would I do to protect them? Not just science, because I have the expertise to make good recommendations, but a place of really just, I want to do for my community what I think is right. I'm John Pardue, I'm a professor of civil and environmental engineering at LSU. So I'm the engineering representative on the medical committee. I study environmental engineering. So I study the fate and transport of pollution in the environment. I'm thinking about aerosols, I'm thinking about the way viruses move. And I'm also coordinating the wastewater program on campus, so a way in which we can track the movement of the virus and how it progresses in the population. So once we mask up, we stop those big droplets, but it's the ventilation that really gets these smaller droplets. And so these little air filters, they pull the air in and they pass it through a really fine filter and remove the uh, particles from the air uh, all the time. The Office of Environmental Health and Safety on campus has purchased those for every classroom. They're installing those, uh, and so you're gonna see those in every room that you take a class. They're gonna be a great addition to the safety of the classroom. I'm Ed Trapito. I'm an epidemiologist. My work as an epidemiologist is to look at causes of disease, If you stop the spread of COVID, if you stop people from getting sick, they're not going to be able to produce virus that's going to mutate. The more that people vaccinate, the fewer number of individuals who will be around who are carrying the virus, and the fewer number of people will be around who are spreading the virus. It's only when you spread the virus and it's mutated that it creates a problem. I spent a lifetime, uh, a career lifetime, learning, studying, and practicing epidemiology, which helps us to know what's going to happen, what's happening, and how we can prevent it. 